Yo, what's up guys, Sitchko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with one of the, if not the most famous deck in Clash Royale history, talking about 2.6 Hawk Cycle, but we're not just gonna play it in Leather, we're not just gonna play it in Grand Challenge, we're gonna be playing it in Triple Elixir, where most of the people run beatdown decks, where most of the people run heavier decks, we're gonna be playing with a Quick Cycle deck, so this should, yeah, hopefully cause a lot of interesting moments, hopefully good matches, and of course, we're gonna try and get as many Ws as possible in today's video using 2.6 Hawk Cycle, so let's see what we can get going. Okay, we're running Dagger Dashes. I think I'm just gonna ignore the barrel. It is gonna get a little bit of damage, but I think here should be able to get offensively with the Hawk Rider. And he has Boulder, he has Cannon. He already shows quite decent counters against the Hawk Rider, so we need to be careful here. Okay, I'm gonna go Hawk Rider towards the left side, and then afterwards gonna go Musketeer, and I'm gonna try to time the lock um, well, so we can both counter the... Ooh, the Ice Spirit actually kind of messed it up there. If the Ice Spirit wasn't able to hit the, um, the Skeleton Barrel, would have been a really nice timing. But anyway, still a pretty good situation. Oh my god, wait, what? Look at the, the right side. Hope Rider is going to get to the tower. He also does end up spending the arrow. So those skeletons might go crazy. And I think we might already take the first tower. There you go. Uh, right side tower will go down. In the meantime, let's cycle another Hope Rider. And these, yeah, matches are going to be crazy, guys. Like, there's going to be so many stuff going on at the same time. Hopefully, I can get my commentary. Um, yeah, keep it up with all the stuff going on in the match but in the meantime looks like this might be a three count the one hp musketeer is going crazy and it is indeed gonna be a three count so as i said before i don't know if i'm gonna yeah lose my mind recording today's video so many things are gonna happen both defensively offensively cycling like crazy as i mentioned before in triple leaks are people usually run yeah heavier beatdown decks sometimes they do use kind of cycle decks i made a video with the top three decks where i did include one yeah kind of a cycle deck but not as quick as this 2.6 hawk cycle Okay, let's start off here right away. Let's go with Ice Golem. Looks like he does go with his um, Balloon. Let's go Pressure on the right side. And I'm gonna Ice Spirit here as well. Okay, perfect. Let's go Ice Golem. And then I'm gonna Cannon here in the middle. Just to keep distracting the Balloon. Let's go Hawk Rider towards the right side. And let's also support it with some Skeletons here. Okay, so this guy is not too happy about it. I don't know why, but he's yawning. Let's give him... Uh, well, I wanted to send him in, but anyways, let's just focus right now on the defense first. Let's go with Musketeer. Let's then go with the Evil Ice Spirit. Let's go with a cannon here up high. And I'm actually going to go Skeletons here as well. And I'm going to go with another Musketeer on defense. Okay, looking pretty decent. I think that should be enough to, yeah, defend the Balloon. Bats are going to maybe get a bit of tip damage. Looks like they don't. And here we can just go with the Ice Spirit. We can go with Fireball. We can go with Lock. Let's go with Skeletons. And I'm going to cycle another Musketeer towards the right side. So, yeah, as I said, like the commentary sometimes is going to be really hard to, to keep up with. But I think we should be able to do a good job. Okay, let's go cannon. Luckily for us, we didn't go with um, cannon there on the right side. I was thinking about it, but yeah, as I said, luckily for us, we didn't. Let's go with a hawk rider here towards the right side. I don't think we need to defend the balloon. I think the right side dagger dash, yeah, exactly, is going to help us a little bit. So that's perfect. And he tries to activate the king tower, but it looks like he is not able to. So that's also really nice for us. Okay, let's go ice column here. Let's then go with a cannon. Let's cycle another musketeer like this. And then let's also cycle ice spirit. Okay, I'm going to go hawk rider towards the right side. I think the, right, the left side, um, yeah, tower... Should be able to not take too much damage. There you go. Let's go with the Ice Golem. And I don't know if he has, if he has a small spell. I'm actually going to go Ice Golem plus Evil Skeletons here. He didn't show like... Uh, he did show. Uh, yeah, okay. I actually forgot about it. Um, right as I wanted to say so, I did remember that he showed the Zap. But I kind of forgot about that. So, yeah. No problem anyway. So far doing pretty good. And he's not too happy about the situation actually. Let's go with the Hawk Rider here as well. Let's then cycle back to Ice Golem. Let's go with Skeletons here. Let's go with a Cannon here defensively. Let's go with the Evil Ice Spirit. Let's go with another Hawk Rider. And what is even happening right now, guys? Let's go with Ice Golem here. He actually kind of misplaced the Miner, because if he would have just put it in a safe spot, the Miner probably would have been able to get quite a bit of damage, but he put it in a uh, situation where the right side Dagger Dash actually helped us out quite a bit. So, yeah, looking really good right now. We actually have his right side tower already down um, to Fireball range. 180 HP, of course, Fireball is going to be more than enough to take that down. So, let's go with Ice Spirit here as well. Let's go with a Cannon. Let's go with another Musketeer. And this should be pretty much good game, unless something crazy happens in the last 25 seconds. But we have a really solid defense. 2.6, of course, yeah, we already know it has a pretty um, solid defense with the Musketeers, with the Quick Cycle, with the Cannon. We can also Fireball, if necessary, on defense, but I don't even think we need it. We can here just, um, yeah, cycle, continue cycling the Musketeers, get a lot of value out of them. He doesn't have a big spell, so that's really good for us as well. That's exactly why he's not really able to, yeah, deal with the Musketeers. He's trying to nail them into his pushes, but anyways, not enough time for him and not enough damage anyways. There was still a lot of HP left on our left side tower, so that's gonna be another nice and I would say pretty easy W. This guy, I don't know why he is, uh, yeah, yawning like that. Let's actually send him a laughing emote and let's hop into the next match right away so so far actually really nice matches 2.6 hawk i mean in triple elixir it's working pretty well i was expecting to have some really hard matchups against like golem 
Lava Hound with maybe like double um, big spell. But so far, we actually faced, I would say, pretty good matchups. Like the last matchup, even though he had Nado, even though he had a decently yeah, quick cycle, I think we still had a pretty good matchup there because he was just not able to break through our defense. Okay, let's keep under pressure here. Let's go with Ice Golem plus Hop Rider towards the right side. In the meantime, the Musketeer here on the left side should be able to get quite a lot of value. And then we can also set up a cannon here. Okay, I'm gonna Evo Ice Spear. Not sure. Ooh, he does go with arrows. That was nice arrows. Okay, Archie still doesn't get a shot, so that's good for us. Let's go with a Hawk Rider here as well. Let's then go with Evil Skeletons. Look on the right side. Let's go with Ice Spirit on the left side. Let's then go with an Ice Golem right side. And as I said, like sometimes the commentary is just gonna be crazy because so many things going on at once in these um, yeah, type of matchups with the 2.6 cycle. And then also with Triple Elixir. Like, it's just a crazy combination. Okay, let's go Ice Golem here. Let's go Hope Rider as well. Let's then go with Look. Let's also go with Ice Spirit here. Let's have the cannon ready to defend this Hawk Rider. Okay, let's go with Ice Golem. And let's then go with Evil Skeletons. Okay, he kind of went all in there. I think we ended up winning the trade. Because if you look at his right side tower, we did end up dealing a lot of damage. Um, but at the same time, we still need to be careful. I think I'm just going to let the Royal Giant be like this. Royal Giant might be able to, yeah, get one shot. Not really too interested about overspending on the right side tower because he already got a decent amount of damage on the left side tower. And here we can go with Ice Golem. We can go with a Fireball for the Witch. Let's go with Ice Spirit here in the middle. And then I'm going to look as well. Okay, perfect. Look to be able to defend the Golden Barrel. Look at the Musketeer, guys. Oh my god, Musketeer going crazy. Musketeer is actually going to take the tower on the left side. And that's already yeah, a huge elixir. No, not an elixir advantage. A huge damage advantage because, of course, we still have the tower. And he'll st he still needs to take our tower. Okay, let's go Lock, let's go Ice Spirit, let's go Evil Skeletons, let's go um, Ice Golem here offensively, and then I'm gonna start cycling another Hawk Rider again. Okay, let's go Musketeer here offensively. Oh, the cannon is able to shoot the Musketeer. I think it was gonna be, or I thought that it was gonna be um, locked on top of the Ice Golem there. Okay, no problem though, we're cycling like crazy. The Musketeers are MVP, like Musketeer Loki um, is underrated. Like, they are getting so much value in all the matches we played so far. Okay, let's go with Cannon here. Let's then go with Musketeer. We need to be careful because I used the lock, but I think we can anyways defend the Golden Barrel quite easily. We have a quick cycle. We have the Dagger Dashes, which of course we already know that it's really good against um, yeah, quick cycle decks, especially lock bait. Okay, let's go Witch there. Let's then go with a lock as well. And I think that, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a good game already because there's still 30 seconds left. But I think as long as we don't make any huge mistakes on defense, we should be able to yeah, get the W here. Okay, let's go Ice Spear like this. Let's go with Skeletons here as well. Let's then go with a Lock. This Lock is going to be really nice because it's going to take care of the Goblins. Push back the Hawk Rider while the Musketeers and the Dagger Dash are going to defend it. It is going to get one shot on the tower, but it's still not enough damage for him. And I think now we should be able to already say good game. 10 seconds left. I'm just going to go Fireball here. I'm going to go Lock. I'm going to go Cannon here up high, making sure that it's not going to tank for a potential Goblin Barrel. Even though he can, yeah, like um, arrows offensively, the Dagger Dash is, as I said before, is really good against those type of cards like the Golden Barrel. So gonna be another good game. So far the matches have not been like extremely easy. But at the same time, I think we have a really, really solid defense. In Triple Leaks, so, like it's just really hard for them to break through. Because we have such a quick cycle. We can cycle Musketeers like crazy. We have a really good offense as well with the Ice Golem plus Hawk Rider pushes. So I think that's actually why, yeah, the 2.6 Hawk Cycle deck in Triple Leaks so far is working. And it's extremely fun to play, to be honest. Okay, let's go Musketeer here towards the left side. Looks like this guy is running some kind of, I would say... Maybe spell deck or not really sure. Okay, looks like he has giant. Looks like he has bomber archers. Is this gonna be like a, a giant graveyard deck or what is this? Okay, we need to be careful because this guy is actually super aggressive. Um, okay, let's go musketeer here. Let's go lock on defense and then go with an ice column here to tank and distract all the skeletons. And then I'm just gonna go with uh, skeletons to cycle and a hawk rider offensively. Okay, let's go fireball offensively as well. Maybe I should have fireballed the evil archers actually, but I think it's still a fine fireball. We take care of the um, bomber. We damage the inferno dragon. And we also get some chip damage on the tower, which of course is also, yeah, always good. Okay, we need to be careful because this guy, as I said, is playing pretty well. Okay, we need to, yeah, watch out, guys. Let's go with Loki on defense and then go with Evil Skeletons. Let's go with Ice Golem off to the side. And then hopefully that's um, a decent defense. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here as well. Let's then go with a Lock. And this is actually looking like a, a really difficult one. He's playing super good so far. Okay, let's go Cannon here. Let's then go with Ice Spirit off to the side. Let's go with a Musketeer here as well. Let's then go with Skeletons. And yeah, this guy's playing this really well. He's just spamming at the bridge, but it's really hard for us to defend. Giant graveyard pushes, so we need to be careful this one. Okay, let's see. Let's go with uh, Fireball offensively. Let's then go with the Ice Spirit here as well. He goes with Fireball defensively. Hawk Rider might still be able to get one shot. No, looks like he doesn't get a shot, so that's unfortunate. And then here we just need to cycle. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Cannon here. Let's then go with Ice Column off to the side. Let's go with a Lock here defensively. Let's then go with Musketeer and an Ice Spirit as well. Okay, so how are we going to win this one? We're down so much on damage. I don't know how we're yeah, going to actually win this match, guys. 
Okay, let's go Hawk Rider. Let's go Fireball offensively. He goes with arrows defensively. Hawk Rider is definitely going to make it to the tower. So that's good damage for us. Nice. One. Okay, almost two, two hits there. Let's go with Ice Spirit here as well. And then he does go with a Fireball. Don't really know if I should go... Okay, let's go with another Hawk Rider here. Let's then go with Lok. Let's go Fireball off to the side to kill those archers. And then I think I'm just going to have to try and outcycle um, with the Hawk Rider right now. Okay, let's go Ice Column, let's go Hawk Rider as well, let's then go with a look offensively, Skeletons defensively, and then hopefully the Hawk Rider is able to get a shot, nice, Hawk Rider gets one shot, gets two shots, nice, gets two shots, and that's actually a huge damage uh, for us. Okay, that's gonna be Tower Down, I think, I don't think we can defend it, so what we're gonna do is go Musketeer towards the right side, Fireball the left side tower to make sure that we take it down, Lock to clean up everything, Ice Golem to kite the Inferno Dragon, and then, okay, let's go Cannon like this, perfect, let's go with another, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have gone with Musketeer there. Because we just give him, yeah, exactly, I was about to say that. We just give him a really good fireball value, so I should have, um, how do you say, divided the, the Musketeers there. But anyways, no problem, I think it's still a winnable situation. He doesn't have his um, his arrows in cycle, so these skeletons might be able to get a little bit of value. Might be a little bit annoying for him, but looks like with the bomber, he's able to defend it quite well. Okay, let's see, let's go log now. Let's go with cannon here as well, let's cycle skeletons, let's go with ice column up high, let's go with a Musketeer, let's go with ice spear, let's go with another log. What is even happening right now? Okay, please tell me that it's gonna be enough to defend. Let's go with skeletons here to distract. And then Ice Golem here to tank for the skeletons. Okay, let's see guys. Let's go Musketeer here, Ice Spirit here as well. He might go with uh, arrows. Okay, looks like he goes Fireball. Let's go with a look here on defense. If he goes arrows, okay, perfect. He spent quite a bit of elixir there. Let's go Ice Golem. Let's go uh, Evil Skeletons, Hawk Rider as well. Then Evil Ice Spirit. Let's go Fireball offensively. Please tell me that with one skeleton. No, the one skeleton, bro. I believed in you. Let's see what we can get going though. Um, okay, let's go Cannon here. And then I'm thinking about a play which might be really crazy. But I think we might be able to get something done here with this uh, push I'm about to do. Okay, let's see. Please tell me that we, we get it in time. Please tell me that we... Oh my god, let's go. That was so clutch, guys. 40, no. 245 HP left on our right side tower. I was like, okay, I know that he's probably gonna go all in. I know that he's probably gonna go giant graveyard. And then I went with Musketeer, Ice Golem, plus Hawk Rider in the pocket there to get as much damage as possible, which was indeed enough to take down the tower before he took our tower i think if i went full defensively there which i think a lot of people would have done i don't think we would have won to win it so it was like an hour nothing i'm happy that i did it because it did end up paying out that was kind of stressful but we did end up getting the w which of course is the most important yeah thing about um the matches okay let's go skeletons here let's go with hawk rider let's go with ice spear looks like we're up against the lava hound deck Okay, let's cycle here towards the right side. Let's go with Ice Spirit, let's go with Ice Column, let's go with Evil Skeletons, and then let's see what he's gonna drop there to defend it. Okay, perfect. Let's cycle Musketeer towards the right side. I know that he has poison, so that's why I don't go with Musketeer into the same lane, because I just know that he's gonna um, yeah, get a lot of poison value. So that's why I cycle the Musketeer first towards the right side, and here I wanna try and cycle back to another Musketeer on the left side. Perfect. Let's go with Musketeer here to start cleaning up everything. Let's then go with Skeletons here afterwards to start um, distracting the troops he has. And then Ice Golem as well. Okay, he has Lightning plus Poison, so that's not going to be easy for us. But I think if we do a good job at cycling the Musketeers, should be able to get quite a lot of value out of them. Okay, let's go Skeletons like this. Let's then go with the Ice Golem towards the right side. Let's set up a Cannon here defensively. Let's then go with the Hawk Rider with the Ice Golem. Musketeer off to the side, and it's going to be important to cycle back to another Musketeer. He's probably going to Poison it, exactly. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here defensively. He has Poison, he has Arrows, and he has Lightning. Okay, this is not going to be an easy one. Because he can probably just Lightning this Musketeer now. How are we going to defend this? Let's see what happens. Okay, can we Fireball? Okay, Fireball. I think that's a really good Fireball. Yeah, that was an amazing Fireball, actually. We killed all the Lava Pups, damaged the Phoenix, damaged the Inferno Dragon, damaged the Valkyrie. And he even says, wow, well, because he did not expect us to defend it. Okay, let's go Hulk Rider. Let's go Evil um, Skeletons. Let's go with Ice Golem here in the middle. Let's go with a Lock. Mainly to cycle, and then I'm gonna cycle another musketeer here. Okay, this is kind of crazy, guys. I don't know how we're uh, right now winning. Okay, let's go here with Ice Spirit. I'm gonna set up a cannon. Let's go with a fireball defensively. Let's go with skeletons. Gonna go with a musketeer off to the side. And then I think we need to kite everything with Ice Golem here. Okay, let's go Ice Golem now. Let's go with another fireball here. Let's go with cannon here to distract everything. Let's go with another musketeer. Let's go with skeletons to try and distract all the troops he has. And then how are we even defending this? Oh my god, what a crazy defenses we're doing with the um, with the 2.6 Hawk Cycle deck. Okay, Hawk Rider unfortunately did get hit by the Lightning there, so the Hawk Rider is actually not gonna make it. Anyways, I think... Wait, did it get a shot? 
Oh my god, nerf 2.6 Hulk Rider now. Just kidding, guys. Let's go with Ice Golem here. Let's then go with a Hulk Rider in the middle. Mainly to yeah, just get as much damage as possible on his left side tower, knowing that he's gonna go all in to take down our tower. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Um, I'm gonna Ice Golem mainly to distract, but look at the King Tower, guys. Hulk Rider plus Evil Skeleton plus another Hulk Rider plus Musketeer is coming at him. Only 10 seconds left. He still needs to take down a second tower. He's trying to get the three count, but he's not able to yeah, get it. Of course, there's no time for him left. And if anything, we probably would have been able to three count him as well. If for some reason we were tied up, look at his King Tower. So another amazing match. This match was, I would say, really well played. I think I actually didn't make many mistakes. Defensive-wise, we did a really good job. And offensive-wise, we were also always um, yeah, doing good jobs. Pressuring, getting a lot of damage with the Hawk Riders. And then the Musketeers were just yeah getting a lot of value. Even though he had Poison plus Lightning in the same deck. Okay, let's go Ice Golem here. Let's go with, I would say... No, I'm not going to follow Fireball there. I'm just going to set up a cannon, I think, right now. Okay, let's cycle Musketeer, let's cycle Ice Spirit, let's cycle Skeletons, and I think I'm gonna go in for another Ice Golem plus Hawk Rider, but opposite lane. Okay, so this is looking like, I would say, a Graveyard deck to me. Not 100% sure, but this is, yeah, as I said, looking uh, like a Graveyard deck to me. Okay, let's see. Let's go, I think, Ice Golem here. And then hopefully the Musketeer plus the Dagger Dash is able to defend that. Then I'm gonna go Hawk Rider plus Evil Skeletons. Let's go with the Musketeer up high. I'm gonna cycle on Ice Spirit towards the right side. I'm gonna cycle on Ice Golem as well. And then I'm gonna go Hawk Rider here. Okay, Musketeer is getting a lot of value on the left side. Let's cycle a lock to keep them alive a little bit longer. And look at the right side. He cannot NATO right now. Oh my god, you should know that, bro. You should know that you cannot NATO Hawk Rider when the Ice Golem is tanking like that. That's gonna be Tower Down. I would say 100% sure. Even though he has the Evil Walk there, I think that's still gonna be Tower Down. There you go. Tower goes down. And that's a really, really good situation for us right now. Okay, let's set up a cannon here. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna go with his Graveyard, which I think he is running Graveyard. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There's the Graveyard. Okay, I knew that he was gonna uh, run Graveyard here. Let's go with Lock on Defense. Let's go with a Musketeer behind the King Tower. And I'm Cycle another Ice Golem. Okay, I think he's gonna go with a Tesla in the middle. So I'm gonna go Evo Skeleton's Prediction. There you go. We'll be able to take care of the Tesla. And then the Hawk Rider, thanks to that, might be able to get to the tower. Even though he does have the Nado. Let's see if it gets to the tower. No, it doesn't get quite to the tower. Still a good situation. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Let's go with Skeletons. Making sure that the right side Musketeer is able to lock on top of the Phoenix. And then the Hawk Rider is not able to get a shot. He actually has a really good matchup here. I mean, he has Nado, Bowler. He has Tesla. I think that he has, yeah, I would say even a pretty good matchup. I'm not sure if it's like a hard counter. But definitely a pretty good matchup for him. Okay, let's go Skeletons to the strike. Let's go with a Musketeer here off to the side. And then I'm going to try to get the Ice Spirit Evolution. To jump on top of the bowler that would be amazing okay nice it does jump on top of the bowler let's go with hawk rider let's go with skeletons not sure if he has evil tesla cycle if he does those skeletons okay even though he might have evil tesla he doesn't need it because he has the evil valkyrie so well played by him and here i'm just gonna keep out the pressure guys i think at this point we just need to try and keep out the pressure as much as possible because this way he's focused on defending um and he cannot go offensively with the graveyards i think that's like the strategy right now okay i'm gonna go ice spirit last second so the oh i wanted the tesla to pop up but the ice spirit was not in range so that was my idea with the ice spirit in the middle so the fireball would have um affected the tesla as well okay let's go ice golem here let's go musketeer up high let's cycle skeletons let's cycle on ice spirit here as well to jump on top of the bowler let's go with the ice golem and i think i'm gonna go with a musketeer here to snipe the evil tesla okay perfect doesn't snipe the evil tesla but it does snipe the executioner and anyways only 10 seconds left so this is looking like a good game to me Unless something crazy happens. I don't think he has freeze or something like. Yeah, I think he just has NATO plus poison. So we don't need to worry about like a last second surprise freeze. And it's going to be another W. Another, um, yeah, good game. Really well played. I had a lot of fun playing with 2.6 Hawk Cycle in this Triple X tournament. If you guys still have a life in the Triple X tournament. Or if you guys haven't played yet and you guys want to have fun. I definitely recommend playing 2.6 Hawk Cycle there. Because it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If not, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.